today is the Sunday of the Word. But the words of the readings invite us to something. That's what we're going to talk about briefly. Invite us to embrace change. To embrace change. Embrace change. There's this saying by a popular Asian philosopher, a Greek philosopher named Heraclitus. He said, no man steps in the same river twice. No one steps in the same river twice. It's an adage they use often. It means that the water is flowing all the time. The same water you stand in, you think you can stand in again. No, it flows and goes. It means that it's always what? Changing. To tell us that in our life, in this world, change is always taking place. Change is always taking place and we need to embrace it. And readings of today, the first reading and the second reading invite us to change with the word repent. In the Greek, that would tell them metanoia, to change. And then, it talks about change. Change in the way of thinking. Change in one's value. Change in one's mind and heart. Change in one's desire. And change in the direction of life. Especially change from negativity to positivity. If in life you only see negative or you think negative, you always be seeing negative in your life. But we've been invited today to change. Look at the positive aspect of life. You know, sometimes some people, you may be facing a difficulty in marriage, in business, in work, in relationship. When you intend to concentrate on the negative, that ill, that is there, you will never see any positive things happening to you. Because your mind is there. And when your mind is so much concentrated in that, even when the good is happening around you, you will never see it. So, today, the Lord is called change. To change and see the good. We live in a world where the world tells that everything is bad. In everything that we do to God. And as some analysts say, good news does not sell, but bad news sell. Do you agree to that? You agree to that? Yes. Good news does not sell. But bad news sell. So we are ready to share bad news. But the good news that brings us hope, we are not ready to share it. Jesus said, the time has come. He preached the good. Believe in the good news. Believe in the goodness. Let's see the goodness in life. Let's see the goodness in each other and talk about it. Not the ills. That's what we've been called to. But our world is unfortunate that we do this. If you ask your word, you say, I send pa and turn him on somebody. I send pa, a pie, and I'm a mom for and can't am I into you. Nanyama and ye. And then you don't want to hear him, no, 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 Yamapanya <laughs> Bugle Namo, one Amunami, Akamiglano, Namaja Gomiaji, eh, 
a po koshu of ya, nicho, mava be a tadi ma kotu. Ma kotu a ma kotu, no ma tu ma wonya a bobi tadi kla a kla. A boy manya nago, and ya ma blogger ma shamma, nay a go blushi, a blogger la shamma, nay malata, a blogger, nay a beka, shima, a blogger, fish a fee. Je ne sais pas si vous avez vu ça. Je ne sais pas si vous avez vu ça. Je ne sais pas si vous avez vu ça. Je ne sais pas si vous avez vu ça. Je ne sais pas si vous avez vu ça. Je ne sais pas si And per the readings of today, I'm highlighting two things the, from the second reading and the, the God, and the first reading and the gospel as well. In the, first, in the second reading, Paul encouraged the people of Corinth that they should detach themselves from things that they hold on to, that all those things are temporary. He said all those things are temporary. They, go, they are passing away. That if they hold on to it, they'll be disappointed. He said they'll be disappointed. Everything they are hoping on, they are holding on to, will just well, fade away. So they should change their attitude towards that. Issues, things, and then he told them, if you are married, leave us. If you are not married, he encouraged them. When we go home, let's try to read the second reading. So that those of us who are so much attached to things, we say, no, without this one, I can't leave. It's a lie. If you do that one, that thing is not there, your life collapses. Paul was drawing the attention that look, everything is temporary. Don't get so over attached to the thing that you can't do any other thing. That doesn't take it. Paul said, It's time. It's time. And he draws the same invitation to you and I. He's drawing the same invitation to you and I. That's, that's like. It's a temporary place we are living in. And when you get over touch with things like that, you would be disappointed. He invites us to change that attitude and not to hold on to things forever. He tells us to embrace change so that we will not be disappointed. If you ask me, if you ask me, if you ask me, if you ask me, Yambesi ye jemu o we die mi jemu enye ye mame oni apol se emrena so sa die no jemu mane ko every she enya ade e bo wa be de akosi ye ye ade e bo akosi pe enya de onyang point de asem no le mi apol ka ku valia ma On ne peut pas faire de Paul, 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 on ne peut pas faire Aha. No nye na bo mo nye nyu avoy ma nyana mnyo wonto na hwe na nye wonto ke mata wonto na nyanga aka avo ma dieu vo choto na nye je ton je ko ka je go ma ko klo na klo de ga te taga ta mi ga chi ngi amo pon wo do vai yi ba mi tru mi abaso sule na no nchi bo mo pa gere mi ancho Then the second thing is that Jesus announced in the gospel that the kingdom of God is close at hand. The kingdom is here. It's not talking about the place, but talking about relationship. 
It's relationship. You are telling them that you get closer to God. Not to the situation that happened. That the situation that happened is temporary. It is time to change. Time to turn to the Lord. To build a solid relationship with the Lord. I said, 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 no, just say, in Tahua, a windy pania, the Santimono, or Sierra Sun, near the Yamede, a man yamme. In Tahue, near Yamin Timono, or no Sierra Sad, and you be doing which was a Renasso, or said, Yes, sir, away a bra bumunyama yina, or say, Renasso. Some Rena Christ cast him, some Rena, or catch or say, Renasso, if you say, Unim de Bishiochna, Yamuha no ha, Unim de Bishiochna, and as you fear, sorry, Demuha, Unim de Bishu with ye, Yamuha, and in him. Abatoba Gama Su, Nemiatro, Miatrova Igbo, Elabana, Maracamania Chomago, Yemenia Miado Monton and Niel, Church of Ham, and Yemia Kajo, and Mipa Church, Mara Lodge of Tetra Manyam Nama, Nino, Tabagama Su, Mitro, Mitro Miapo Susu, Miapo, Mitro Miapo, and now Katar, Yenchi, Lebo, Ea Fiamino, Miwaga. Now, for change to take place, there is need for certain agents to work it to effect the change. There are two things. God uses people to effect change. Like in the first reading, we had Jonah. God sent him to the beginning. He didn't want to go, but when he went and he proclaimed what the Lord had laid on his heart, change took place. He became an instrument that brought the notion of change. He said, repent, change your lifestyle. God used him. In the gospel, Peter and the rest of Jesus said, I'll make you fish of men. Jesus said he was sending them out to bring change in the lives of people. He was sending them out. That's why Peter and Co. had to leave Israel and come all the way to Rome to bring the idea of all change, positive change. The idea of seeing the good, the idea of seeing being loved that Jesus brought. That's the message of change that they sent. That God was love. That God loves the world so much that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him should know all, should not perish but should have what? Everlasting life. That's why they were agents of change. And we've also been called to become agents of war. Change. But positive war. Change. Because sometimes we can be agents of war. Negative change. We can become agents of war. Negative change. What the Lord is asking us as he has to be agents of all positive change. A change that will bring joy and peace in the life of people. A change that will enhance the life of people. A change that will, people will feel happy. Not a change that will make people feel sad. That will make people grieve. The second agent of change that the Lord uses to bring renewal and change people's life is His Word. It's His Word. When you may ask Him, it may sacrifice. See it in here. Mount Panya at Eternamy. Because of that, Paul again in his letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 2 onwards, invited that they should renew their mind. He said, renew your mind. Don't conform to this world. He said, do not be conformed to the world where you live, but rather be transformed to the renewal of your mind. You must discern the will of God, what is pleasing and what is perfect. And how can you discern the will of God? Through his word. Through his word. You renew your mind with the word of God. Scientists or psychologists have studied and have shown that what you read influences you a lot. It works on your mind. So for effective and productive change to take place in our life, we need to do or read the word of God. Because the word of God forms our conscience and St. Paul again will tell Timothy, 
in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6, that all scriptures is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refuting error, for correcting, and for training in righteousness. Through scripture, anyone who is devoted to God is made competent and thoroughly equipped for every good work. That's what Paul told Timothy. That when you read God's word, it will correct you, it will teach you, it will equip you to live a better life. So, as we mark today the Sunday of the world, we are being invited to go back to God's word daily in our life. Spend some time, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes daily to read something. We are blessed people as Catholics. Every day there is a word, a passage given to our first reading, psalm, gospel, to our every day. If you follow that man, it's a program that will help you even to read the word of God easily. And as you do this, St. Paul says, it will correct you. When you do that, you renew your mind. It will change you. It will affect change in your life. The issue is, are we ready to commit ourselves to the word of God? On Tini Paul, I can just say, since I cry, Baba, I was here then, your phone, you may ask him. If you ask him, okay, kind, be be as I didn't know, okay, kind of, it's me, my winner, I drink such a he be. I die a kind of, it did you my head then, a way so. Say, you can kind of, you might also, yeah. Near Manikinkanji but I can yimbo boma, scoofies yaka hermanala, magana or nyadro, yue, no or clean no, yatrin a disculo minelama. Not the gomono. It is God's word, it's not the word of human beings. The church intentionally calls our mind to this day so that we give attention to God's word so that it will bring. The change you and I want in our life. In conclusion, my brothers and sisters, Jesus wanted to bring change to this world called ordinary people who were ready to take the assignment he was giving them so that they can do extraordinary things with their lives. So that those extraordinary things they do with their simple life will bring positive change. To all people. The question is, are we also ready to embrace the word of God so as to become instruments of change for the Lord? May the Lord who became flesh and dwelt among us, dwell in our hearts today. May he transform our lives for the better. May he make our agents of his word. And may he let our life be a transformation channel for others to follow. In Christ Jesus' name, amen.